Hello Sagittarius, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Uh, I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 28th of February through to the 6th of March 2022. Or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, it's a general reading, Sagittarius, so it won't resonate with everybody, but it certainly will with some. All right, so we'll start with the Moonology Oracle deck. But just to say quickly that um, this is not my normal envir um, environment that I'm working in or the, the normal sort of setup. I am up in Scotland at the moment helping and supporting my daughter to settle in. She's moved home from the south of England up to the middle of Scotland. So a big change, but it's all good. It's all working well. But I've managed to find myself a little corner and a little bit of time um, in between all of the um, the work, the chaos a little bit, um, just to get these readings done and this reading done for you, Sagittarius. All right, so we'll need to crack on. Um, and let's see, just bear with me a minute. That's upside down. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? What does Sagittarius need to consider at this time? What do you have for Sagittarius? What's important for Sagittarius to consider? The weather's quite blustery up here in, in Scotland. All right, so we have the new moon eclipse, and this is saying expect powerful change, Sagittarius. There we go, expect powerful change. And the new moon in Virgo, and this is saying it's time to give rather than take. All right, so let's see how those two energies will fit in with the rest of your reading. So starting with the um, Gilded Tarot, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? 28th of February to the 6th of March, 2022. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Well, the heart of your reading, Sagittarius, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and then something else that your guides and your energies would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Uh, King of Cups, um, always near water because he's very much in control and manages his emotions. A very sensitive, caring energy. Um, but also a clear thinker also, but he, he, he combines, he's able to successfully manage the matters to do with his heart, um, affairs of the heart, um, but with using logic and a sense of clarity, looking at things with a sense of clarity. All right, so, um, so we have a King of Cups here. Now, this might be representing an aspect of yourself coming forward, working from your heart centre, uh, bringing love into a situation. Or this could be talking about somebody connected to you or soon to be connected to you. Sagittarius. So we'll just pop that to one side. Right, could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius? Clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So this is some form of a revelation that, as you know, that you are probably already aware of uh, and working around, or it, it's, it's around you at this time. Um, but this is something that came in out the blue. It's quite shocking. It took you back a bit. One of your towers that you've built has come crashing down in, into a greater or a lesser degree. 
All right, but it's something that was crumbling already, um, Sagittarius. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, it would have still have been um, quite a shock for you. Something to do with a, a King of Cups energy, um, perhaps a love interest. So let's see, at the heart of your reading, we have the Seven of Cups and the World Energy. The World Energy is coming out quite a lot in my readings at the moment, which is about old cycles completing now, new cy getting ready for new cycles. Um, the Seven of Cups, this is about options and choices going forward. You know, there's a, perhaps a choice to be made, but it's difficult to know what to choose. But there's a lot of them, so it's a bit overwhelming. You've got lots of options and choices here and opportunities, but it's a bit overwhelming. Lots going on, I feel. Um, and it's connected to something, an old cycle that's completed um, and this new cycle that's beginning. Um, it's bringing in all these options and choices. So what's at the root of this? Well, the Ten of Cups and the Five of Swords. And the Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfilment within the home, within a family situation, whatever family means for you, Sagittarius. But this is very much to do with the home and the hearth. Um, you know, all of your cups being full here, happiness and joy. Um, but the clarifier is the Five of Swords. So there's something to do with this happy home situation um, that is giving you a lot of mental torment. It uh, has done. This is in the past. I mean, the Five of Swords is generally about conflict, a disagreement, conflict, needing to walk away from a situation that is not serving you. There could be reflecting some form of a separation, a difficult separation that's happened um, for you that's given you a lot, a lot of mental torment. Um, and it's uh, affecting the, the, the home situation, or has done. So the past energies, we have the Page of Swords and the Emperor. Emperor, Major Arcana, is a, a um, Aries energy, um, brings forward a lot of authority and control. Um, but the lead card here for the past is the Page of Swords. Um, and this is communication, this is about new communication that came in. Um, uh, for me, the Page of Swords can can reflect somebody that's a bit immature. They, do, they don't have to be a child as such, but they can be a young adult or they can be an adult who's still a little bit immature, um, that communicates immaturely and quite bluntly perhaps, but carries with them a lot of authority and control. For others of you, this could have been com new communication that came in um, concerning an, an emperor energy, somebody who has a lot of power and authority. So take it how it resonates with you, <clears throat> Sagittarius. What you're thinking about at the moment is the Ace of Cups and the Hermit. So you're thinking about um, a new opportunity to do with your heart centre, something that is going to fill your cup of love here, Perhaps a love offering, because we have already had the King of Cups here. So is it is the this Ace of Cups, is that the cup that the King of Cups is holding and offering here? Some form of love, love offering? Um, or a, deep, a deepening, a King of Cups offering, a, a, a resurgence of a current love perhaps for some of you. But you're giving some deep thought to this. If you're coming away from the crowd, you know, shining your light inwardly to give some deep thought to this new love opportunity. So if we look at the cards across the top here, the King of Cups, you know, offering, if not gender specific, by the way, Sagittarius. We've got a King of Cups here offering his cup of love. Um, and you're giving some deep, deep thought to this. Um, but you're also aware of this uh, a tower, an ending that happened that came very shockingly and very suddenly. 
that's also very much on your mind. Okay. Going forward, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles, this is putting the finishing touches to something you've been working on. You're creating something new, something different, something special. Possibly working with others uh, to create this, but just putting the finishing touches to something. And it's to do with your entrepreneurial spirit. Here you are, Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. Very creative, very expansive, you know. And seeing new opportunities and going for them and, you know, being very excited about the opportunities that are coming in for you. All right. And so fantastic energies going forward. There's something as the Queen of Wands that you are excited about and putting the finishing touches with or two. So what is it your guides would like to say to you? Well, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Death and Rebirth. And the Eight of Pentacles, again, this is the Apprenticeship card. So this is really being focused and working on something new, developing something new. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Um, so practicing and then in perfecting a skill. Because this is a time of transformation. So there's been a death of some sort, an ending of some sort. But it's brought in a time of rebirth for you. And this is what you are working on now. So very much a transformation energy here. Something had to end. Um, it'll be something different for all of you, Sagittarius. But whatever it is that came to an end, it's created this time of uh, rebirth for yourself. You know, and being focused on creating something new for yourself. All right, we'll get two final messages for you, Sagittarius, just to complete your reading. Can we have two final messages, please, for Sagittarius to complete this reading? Two final messages. Two final messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay, okay, so um, what your guides want to say to you is, this is about appreciating what you have. So through gratitude, joy expands. Just appreciating the little things in life that you have, the small things around that you may take for granted, but are so magical and special all the same. Uh, and create this, this f fabulous life and, and environment for yourself. So it's, you know, having gratitude for what you have, even the small things. And then that helps your joy to expand. Um, but there's some form of distant thunder here um, that's needed to clear the air. Um, something's building up. And as when we have a thunderstorm, it helps to clear the air. This is, you know, this is something building up now. It could be, this could be what uh, is the tower. So there's something coming to a head that needs sorting. Something's crumbling and it's coming to a head. Um, the air needs to be cleared. You know, what, in whatever way that means for you, Sagittarius. Um, but something needs sorting. Something needs facing, I think, here. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Um, there is powerful change on the way, remember. Uh, it's time to give rather than take. So we can see powerful change. When we've got the tower and we have distant thunder, we know that there's some form of powerful change. We've had the world as well, so an ending of an old cycle. But you do have lots of options and choices and you are putting the finishing touches to something pretty special very creative, that you're very passionate about. 
you know, lots of learning, lots of new skills. I feel here. All right, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it there. Um, whoever this was for, it won't be for everybody, but whoever it was for, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. But good luck going forward. And until next time, bye-bye for now.